before we get started we are really really close to hitting quarter million subscribers so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already that would help out a lot hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about ios 15 and some amazing new features that have been reported coming to ios 15. now of course we're just like less than two weeks away from the release of the first beta of ios 15 at wwdc 2021 so we already have quite a lot of features that have been reported and most of them have been reported actually by multiple sources leading us to believe that of course these will be on ios 15. now before we get into the video make sure you leave a like on this one it helps out a lot for the algorithm so make sure you smash that like button now when it comes to ios 15 my main source for the past few weeks has been ihack to you pro on twitter and i've followed him for a few weeks now he has been very reliable and of course very accurate on his reports regarding apple stuff so here we have two more features reported by him now actually he doesn't state that these will be on ios 15 he just basically like teases us with these tweets but i believe that's what he's talking about so here's one new animation now this tweet lets me to believe that there will be a new animation on ios 15 even though you don't basically get here any details on the tweet which type of animation he's talking about but i believe it will be the animation that you get when moving like from apps to home screens or moving between pages on apps and stuff like that because we had basically the same animation for quite a while now now on ios you know you have this animation which you cannot change you can get like sort of a different animation if you go to settings you can go under accessibility and from here of course go to motion and from here you can reduce motion and this will basically remove that animation and give you this like fade you can also enable this cross fade animation like it's basically not such a big deal but you can still remove these this animation but with ios 15 according to i hacked you pro even though he doesn't state that this will be for ios 15 i believe that's what he's talking about so we probably will get a new animation now lower here we can also see something else and you can see right here new coming for several apps now right here as well he doesn't state that this will be on ios 15 but i believe that's what he's talking about and the screenshot here of course shows like the 3d touch menu of the settings app and right here his tweet says that this is coming new for several apps now i believe apple will update the 3d touch menus for a lot of apps on ios 15 we basically had the same menus since they have been introduced so expect apple to do that with ios 15 i would hope that apple would add some kind of like interactions maybe let you do stuff from here directly like maybe let's say on settings here things like turning off the wi-fi or the bluetooth but knowing what apple does and how they do things probably they, that won't happen but probably that will be maybe like a redesign or adding like different stuff and different actions to the 3d touch menus of several apps on ios 15. next up we have a report from connor jewis on twitter and he let us know about five new features and changes that are coming to ios 15. so according to him he has seen some stuff probably has seen maybe something from ios 15 and these are basically the features that he tells us about that are coming to ios 15. now first of all tweaks to the dark mode on ios 15. now with ios 13 a dark mode was introduced and it's basically the same nothing has changed on ios 14 and you can expect of course apple based on this tweet to actually like change stuff on ios 15 on ios 15 of course with the dark mode now what i would expect apple to do is maybe add a dark mode for the icons on the home screen because when you enable dark mode you will still get all these white icons on the home screen that would be amazing if apple could do that have like an alternative to the stock icons get like a dark mode that would be really really awesome now the other one that he has stated is that the tweaked ui from the screenshots that apple has actually leaked themselves that is true and that is also coming to ios 15. so here's what i'm talking about 
on a press release by Apple, they showed these like screenshots for the new features that are coming to iOS. And they didn't state that these are coming to iOS 14, neither iOS 15, but these are the screenshots that they basically released. And you can see here these like boxes on the settings app this looks really really cool and i really like it now this was a screenshot into a mock-up of an iphone but i just zoomed it in and you can see how cool that looks even though everything is much bigger here because this is probably a screenshot from a smaller iphone but it actually looks good and i really really like it over the stock one that we have basically the ios 14 one right now on the settings app so you can see the settings app right here and how it looks so basically everything is from edge to edge and with ios 15 we will get these like boxes with rounded corners that everything is separated here and of course makes it that much easier for you to find anything that you need on the settings app another feature reported by him that we have heard now over and over again and probably it is confirmed that it's coming to iOS 15 or new notification settings and of course new look for the notifications on the lock screen of your iPhone and that will be according to him complication based so let's just first take a look at the settings of the notifications and what you can expect to see on iOS 15 basically based on these reports we can see notification settings based on different statuses that you will enable for your device maybe you're at work or you're at sleep you will get that maybe no sounds no notifications on the lock screen and stuff like that based on the status of course that you choose and how you apply these settings for your notifications now it is said that of course notifications with ios 15 will be different will have a different look on the lock screen they will be complication based now this is something i just created with photoshop of course maybe like an idea to give you an idea of how it could look like maybe have icons here with badges when you tap on them they expand and show you the notifications that you have on those apps it might not look like this at all but this is something that it might look like basically it is complication based so you would probably see like smaller icons of apps where you have notifications and then expand them right there on the lock screen or just open them directly and go into the app from the lock screen so good to see that we finally will have a new look for the notifications and of course a new way to manage them on ios 15. A lot of tweaks are also coming to the iMessage app even though we don't have anything in specific basically any like feature or something that will actually happen but it's said and it has been repeated that the iMessage app will actually be updated with a lot of tweaks and changes and that's always good of course Apple is looking to make this more like like a social platform maybe something like WhatsApp or Telegram or something like that and we can see Apple bringing a lot of new features to the iMessage app as they always do with every iOS update Apple has always brought a lot of new features to iMessage and last but not least food tracking it is said of course based on him that Apple will bring like an update to the food tracking may be integrated into the health app i believe they will integrate it into the health app and not actually create a totally new app but we can see apple give us a way to track our food and what we eat of the calories and all that with the health app now you have things like right here you can see we have the health app and we also have this one which is called lose it or like fitness pal or whatever those apps are that allow you to track your food and of course they have a huge database and that will be very hard to implement but expect apple to do something like that and of course will be very very interesting and probably a lot of people will use it as you know when apple goes about something they do it really good and of course they may will be a huge competitor to all these third-party apps that offer you the ability to track your food your calories and everything else that you need to know about what you're eating so that's basically it for this video guys we are less than two weeks away now from the release of ios 15 beta 1 that will be of course the dev beta and then probably in two or three weeks we will also see the release of the public beta of ios 15 of course when apple feels it's the right time to release it to the public to be able to test out the beta that will be really really interesting so go ahead and subscribe for more videos if you want to know more about ios 15 and everything that will be new once it is released to the public so that's it leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one